All right, here we go. I'm going over my first big mountain pass. I've got a truck that can do it. Many vehicles have done it before me. It is now my turn. This is an initiation for wild soul wanderings. Oh my goodness, I did my first mountain pass. At least half of it, the upward part. <laughs> Going home will be the downward part. And I knew that the first time I did a mountain pass in my new truck, this was the location I wanted to come to. I am driving to 11 Mile Reservoir. It is a state park, um, a couple hours from Denver. And it is a very special place to me. This. Uh, lake I visited in my early 20s. I was visiting friends in Colorado and they brought me here and I fell in love. And I believe that experience really seeded my move to Colorado. And I come to this lake, I try a couple of times a year and I've done some beautiful, amazing, wonderful ceremony here. And I've car camped in the region and I'm super excited to have my RV with me this time around and to be able to be here for a whole week and to have my kayak and just to immerse myself in the magic that's here. I love my window, my mirrors this way. Oh my gosh, somebody on Facebook shared with me that you can flip them that way and oh my golly gee, what a difference it makes. You can kind of see the lake off in the distance. All right, this is my spot. That's the lake. Oh, I love that there are boulders all around my camp area. And we do have a fire band going on. It was very tricky to get my rig leveled. We'll see how this pans out. I had to kind of jimmy rig some things. And use a lot of my thingy majigs for leveling. So, and look who's here to visit me, Raven. <laughs> I've landed at 11 Mile. I don't have any internet connectivity. My hotspot isn't working. This site is was challenging to level. It's very interesting energy. Making reservations at a campground months before is interesting because you've got to go. That reservation prompts you to make the trip, even though in your life in that moment it might not necessarily be your primary preference. So I'm moving through some of that portal. Uh, I've got my new desk and I'm going to start getting my sacred altar spaces set up. And I did bring soul collage. And so I'm going to be working on some cards. And I freaking did it. I went down the big mountain pass that I was so afraid to do. It's a 7% gray, twisty, windy, and I did it with so much grace and ease. I downshifted with my gears when I needed to. I was in gears three and four for a lot of times. I very rarely needed to use my little squishy dial thing to do the trailer brake separately. And as I got nearer to the end, I just started crying because so often the anticipation of fear of doing something is so much bigger than the actual doing of it. And being able to do mountain grades with my new truck opens up so much more landscape for me and my wild soul wanderings. And so I can go up and over mountains now. So I did it. So it's such an interesting contemplation point. It's like, what are you afraid of? Um, and how can you step into that fear and move through it? And on the other side of that accomplishment, that settling and releasing of fear and the opening of courage and capacity and capability is very enlivening. So yay, I did it.